Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness and this is Total Body Toning. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We're going to do three exercises standing. We're going to do three exercises on the ground. So let's start with the three exercises standing. We're going to grab a set of weights. We're going to do some shoulder work. So, first part we're going to do, we're going to have one come to the front and one come to the side. So we're going to go one to the front, one to the side. Bring them down, then we're going to alternate arm, one to the side, one to the front. We're just going to go back and forth between those two. Shoulder height only, and don't lean back, okay? So, we're going to set it up. We're going to do 45 seconds. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. One to the front, one to the side. Good posture. Definitely don't lean back. We don't want this weight to go down through your back. We want to stand up tall, use our core. Just keep the pace real slow. You guys keep going. Forgot to put on my music, so. Looking good, keep the pace slow. You got 15 seconds to go. And last one right here. Good. All right. That'll be number one. Number two. We're doing a bent over row. We've done this a lot in this class. So you're going to take a forward lean with your left foot. Just get the weight in the right hand. You can also use anything around your windowsill, a chair, a couch, a end table. But I'm going to use my leg. You want a good forward lean. We're going to just pull up and down nice and smooth, like so, okay? So let's go right hand with the weight, left foot up in front, in three, two, one, go ahead. We're going to do 30 seconds on that arm. The next is two, and from the seven, nine, one, zero, eight. Let's go for two more. Good. Stay up tall. Change hands. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite arm. Right foot goes out in front. Left hand. And three, two, one. Go ahead. Good forward knee. Nice flat back. Don't, hurt. don't arch your back down. So you don't want to be like this. Nice flat back. Great arch to your spine. Let's go three more of them. Good. You got your three, stand up tall, lose the weight. This one, you're going to want a couple steps uh, left and right. It doesn't take more than just a, a couple steps, but we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do a squat, side step, squat. So, squat. You can either stand up or you can squat, stay low, and do a couple of shuffles, and then squat again. So, it's a little harder if you stay lower. If you want it easier, come up in between each squat. So, it's going to be a squat, stand, side step, or squat, stay low, and side step. Okay? Go three, two, one. Here we go. Squat. A couple steps. Doesn't take me even more than one or two steps. I got space for a little bit more. But only do what you got space for. We're going to go 10 more seconds. This is another 45 second set. And good. Stand up tall. Let's grab our weights again.
Let's go back to that first one. This is a front shoulder, side shoulder. They're going to be having it at the same time. So one comes to the front, one comes to the side, and then another one comes to the front, another one comes to the side. I'll always say, if you do have a shoulder injury, you can skip the side part. You can just do like an alternating front shoulder raise if you're concerned about it. But if not, we'll do one to the front, one to the side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good, only the shoulder height. Let's go. One more. Good. Place that off to the side. Hang on to one of them. We're going to go right hand to start. Left foot out in front. Back over. Row to the back exercise. We're going to be working here. It's a front by side. So, good for me. Flat back. And here we go. Let's pull up and down. Grab your elbow very close to your side. Yes, you want to keep it real close to your side. Nice and smooth. Don't let the weight drop down quickly or go up quickly. You want the next boot safe, both up and down. We'll go three more. Good. All right, let's change hands, change the seat. And here we go. Pull up and down again. Left arm, right leg out in front. And last one right here. You lose the weight, place that down to the side. Grab some space. We're going to do legs next. We're going to do um, legs and then hips for the side seven. So take a nice wide stance. This is where we're going to do a squat. Okay? Stand up, side step a couple steps, squat again. All right, we're going three, two, one. Here we go. Let's do the squat. You can either stay low or come up in between each one. Try to keep your knees back. So they don't go over your toes. Anytime you do a squat, you want to do knees behind the toes. You don't want to have your knees coming up over your toes. And you get a lot of pressure on your knees. Go one more time, down and back. Good. We'll stand up nice and tall. Let's come back to the front. Grab our weight. We have a front shoulder, side shoulder raise. So, just like the first two times, one to the front, one to the side, we're going to alternate to the front. If you have a shoulder injury you're concerned about, we'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. To the side, to the front. To the side, to the front. Looking good, we're halfway there. Three more. One, two, 
two, three. You can place one of those down. Hang on to the other one. Let's do our right leg. Again, our left leg up to our right arm. Bent over a row. So four knee pulling up and down. Go three, two, one, go ahead. Three more, two, one. All right, change hands, change feet. Forward lean, good balance. Here we go. Three, two more. Last one. Good. All right. Lose the weight. We have our squat, sidestep squat. So get the face. Alright, so again you can stand up in between each one or you can stay low and kind of shuffle to the side, a little bit harder on the leg. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go, squat, spin, or stay down. So one more time, down and back. Good. All right, take a water break. We'll take about 30 seconds. and do that ground exercises. All right, if you want to look up too, I'll show you what our first one is. First one is a single arm chest fly. So, what that means, we're going to go up in the air with one arm, one weight. We're going to keep the torso really tight to keep your abs tight because you're going to come out to the side. You don't want to twist your body. So, you want to keep your abs tight so that doesn't happen. So you're going to come out wide and then pull back to the top with just one arm. If you have a shoulder injury, I'm going to give you this one to do. You can press up and down. It's a lot lighter than the other one. So your elbow bends and you're pressing up and down instead of coming out wide with the weight. Okay? So let's grab our weight. Lie on your back. We'll go the right hand just so we're all doing the same side to side. Go straight up in the air. You're either going to go wide or let the elbow bend and come down to the ground with the elbow. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down slowly. Make sure this one has to be done slowly. If you go quickly, you can hurt your shoulder. So, slowly, 
Keep your abs tight. Two more. Good. Let's change to the other hand. Same idea. In three, two, one. Here we go. If your arm allows you to go to the ground, you can. If your shoulder doesn't like going that far, don't force it. Two. Last one. Good. All right. Next up, you're going to stay lying on your back. We're going to do an opposite toe touch. Sitting on the right side, you're going to put your right arm up above your head. We're going to reach towards the left foot. Come down nice and easy. And reach up. So, you can keep the head up. Like you, I mean, you can keep the head down or you can pull the head up in between each one. That's up to you. Pulling the head up makes it harder, but if your neck is tight, you can keep the head down. So go right arm overhead. And here we go. Reach up towards your left foot. You don't have to hit it, but you want to reach in that direction. Slow is good. Slow is going to make your core have to control the pace. So I like this one to be so nice and slow if you can. Yep, a slow decline. Two more. Good. Other hand up overhead. And go ahead. You can get started right away. Reach to the other foot. Go ahead. 30 seconds. This one. Three, two more, last one, good, take a pause right there, next up our third exercise is going to be an overhead pullover, we've done this in the class before, bent knees, feet on the ground, weights go up in the air, you're going to keep the weights in contact with each other, slowly up overhead, keep your abs tight. And I'll try to remind you of these things as we do them. You go slowly overhead. You're going to keep a nice, slow pace, tight core. All right, grab your weights. Lie on your back, bent knees, go straight up in the air. Put the weights together. And here we go, slowly overhead. Hold back to the top. Make sure you do this one slowly. This is also one that can hurt your shoulder if you go too quickly. Nice tight core, control the abs, control the pace. We got four more. Three. Two. One more. Good. Pull the weights in. You can lose one of those weights. The other one, you can just hang on to it. We'll take a few seconds in between. But and as we rest, so you can look out and see what we're doing next. This is going to be a single arm fly out to the side. Or you can let the elbow bend and you can go up and down with it. Okay, right, so we'll go to five seconds. Doesn't matter which arm. And here we go. Either slow out wide or slow down the ground. Let the elbow hit the ground.
You always want to control the ass, control the pace. Make sure it's not twisting your torso when it comes to the side. That's where the ass come in. We got one more. All right, let's change hands. Three, two, one. Here we go, slowly to the side.
Two more. Last one. Good. Change hands. Just be careful doing it above your head. Just in case you lose grip. You never want to transfer over your head. That's what you have to. All right. Here we go. Other side. Go ahead. Four to go. Three. Two. One. Good. Place that weight down to the side. All right, we have our core exercise. Top to toe to touch. You can lie flat with your body. We'll start with the right hand over head, uh, reaching towards the left foot. And we'll go in three, two, one, reaching up and across. Up and across. You can bring the head up or leave the head down. Three, two, one, good, five. <laughs> Other arm, here we go, go ahead. Left arm reaching towards the right toe. Three to go. Good. All right. When you're done, your three. Grab your set of weights. Last exercise for the day. We have our overhead pullover. It requires same knee, two weights. Click the weights together, and you slowly go up overhead with the weight, nice and slow. All right. Three, two. One, here we go. Keep your ass tight. We're going to do four more votes. And there's your last ones. All right, good job, everybody. Good class. Thanks for coming.